Hey, I'm going to go over really quickly how to increase the size of your VM um, hard drive using VMware um, on Fusion on a Mac. This should probably work on Windows too. Uh, the only thing you're going to need is a Linux ISO. I'm using CrunchBang. You can see over here um, there's 20 gigs of space on the disk, but the entire disk, if you crap on that, if you want to check it, is uh, I think it's 21 gigs. Yeah, so it's 21 gigs, 20 of it's used, and I guess the rest is swap. Uh, this is going to cause an issue. It's extended and swap. Not a big issue. Um, I'll show you how to walk through it. Um, so you can see it's 21 gigs right now with 20 gigs allocated to the to the hard drive. I mean, excuse me, to the Linux partition. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is shut it down, um, and you're going to have to delete all the snapshots. Somehow the snapshots are based on the size of the drive. If you want to back up, uh, it would be a good idea to actually find either the folder or the file um, and back it up just in case something goes wrong. But I haven't had any issues. Uh, so you, what you're going to want to do is go into the settings and change three things. You're going to want to boot from the disk image. Right now I'm using Ubuntu desktop. Uh, make sure it's enabled. Uh, change the startup disk to CD. And when that's done, you're going to want to delete all the snapshots. It's going to take a minute. And we're going to go back into the settings and change the startup disk to CD. I think I think those are the three things we need to do. Um, what we want to do is boot into the live ISO. Use Gparted to increase the hard drive space. That up, oh, you know, crap! I made a mistake. I don't think this will make a difference since I haven't booted into anything yet. But I forgot to increase the hard drive space. So you can see here, there's the VMDK we're using, which is basically a VMware hard drive, I guess. Um, and now that we've deleted all the snapshots, if not, you'll get a little warning here. You can increase it to 22. And hit apply. There we go. We're all set. So what happened now is we basically have a bigger hard drive, but the same size partitions. What we want to do is increase the partition size. Okay, still booting into Linux. Uh, if this is your first time, click Try Ubuntu, hit Enter. It will give you a language. I guess I skipped it and hit English. Um, older versions of Ubuntu work if you're more comfortable with them. Um, some people don't like Unity. I don't really care. So to get into Gparted, depending on what version of Linux you're using, you'll have to find your own way. But in Unity, you just go to that whatever it is. There it is. Um, usually, it's under administrative or settings or something. So now you see the extra gig we created. So what you want to do is move all the partitions back or forward, depending on how your hard drive is set up. Um, so with an extended drive, it's going to be a little bit odd. You're going to have to, oh, you have to unmount all your drives also. So I guess we have the swap being used. Um, yeah, if you have a swap drive, I guess Linux will take it. So what you want to do is move the extended partition first or resize it. And then move the swap inside of it. And then move. All the warnings you get are saying, like, hey, you may not want to do this. Um, if you get stuck in that little area, this used to happen to me. What you want to actually do is right-click on here, and then it'll give you the option to resize. And then what we actually did was 
we moved the whole size of the partition, we moved the swap to the end, and then we moved that extended partition back to the normal size. And then we're going to also resize this one. And you should have an extra gig. Resize, click OK. And it's going to take, I mean, it depends. I've had some hard drives where I wanted to increase it from like 60 to 70 gigs. It took hours. Um, it also depends on, I'm, I'm guessing, how much uh, CPU put through you, I mean, a uh, hard drive put through you have. So I guess these are pretty fast. So we're all set, close, and effectively you're done. We're just going to shut down. Set it to boot from um, the original disk again, but what, yeah, what that just said was we're completely done. Um, this is the partition that uh, Crunchbang is on, and it was smaller. I don't remember what it was, but I know I did it right, I think. I don't know why it's acting weird. Right, there we go. Uh, please remove disks. There's no disks, so we just hit enter. And we're going to go back into settings. Startup disk. Push it back to the hard disk because we want to boot from the disk again. The VMDK and bing bang boom. I'm just going to boot it and show you that indeed we did make the whole disk bigger and we'll see it in a second. Yep, there's 21. And yep, there it is. So you can see the whole disk is now 22. This partition is 21 gigs. And uh, we're all set. Thanks.